Okay, so <clears throat> I make these videos mainly because, you know, everybody else's opinion is on the internet. Why the fuck not mine? So let's go with it. Uh, somebody I know posed a question the other day, and I thought it was a good question, and I figured I'd share it. He says, uh, so question, y'all. In a relationship, does each partner's problems become the other one's problems and same vice versa? Would you ever stay with someone who can look at you and say, I'm not supposed to be the one you're talking to about your problems or that they can't be there emotionally? And in my humble opinion, you know, the answer to the first question is absolute. Yeah. Uh, when you get with somebody, their problems absolutely become your problems. Uh, I think that's part of being in a partnership. Uh, if you love somebody and you live together, depending on how far that you know connection goes, if, especially if you live together, if this person suffers from even something like credit, get with a motherfucker with bad credit, you'll know if they shit affects you, hell yeah. Uh, or a person that owes past bills, <laughs> yeah, that'll affect you. Uh, but it, it also goes into the emotional, mental, physical aspects of the relationship. If your partner has problems, yes. They have erectile dysfunction or low libido. Yes, that's gonna affect you. If they have a different appetite than you, if they eat different foods, that's gonna affect you. You know, if they have children, that's gonna affect you. If they have eczema, nigga, yeah, anything. <laughs> Everything that another person is becomes a part of you when you decide to become a life partner with somebody. Uh, rarely does the internet pose questions worth asking, but this one did. And I'm going to take the field on it. Okay, so I'm going to say I'm a part of Team A. Uh, if I'm in a partnership with someone, I'd rather them be there for me emotionally than have to go see a therapist or something like that. I'd rather share the things that I'm going through, things I'm thinking about, be they you know, up or down. I'd rather share that with the person that I'm sharing my life with. I feel like that's a big part of uh, how I bond personally with another human. Uh... And I think that's what family means. Um, I feel like you should be able to talk to your lover, your mother, father, brothers and sisters. Maybe not all of them, but at least one of them. You should be able to come to them and talk to them about the things that's going on in your head, in your life, in your mind. You know, uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically. To me, that's a huge part of the human connection. But I also have encountered many people who I know would definitely be part of Team B. Uh, those people who feel like, listen man, uh, and let's just be honest too, because some problems, problems are such a vague uh, word when it comes to um, what I like to refer to as dis-ease. You know, whenever something is, you know, disturbing your peace, then you immediately, you know, it's the human condition to start looking for a solution. Uh, and I think it's best for you to be able to look at that, for that solution close by. But I also understand there are people who feel as if, you know, maybe some things are sacred or some things they can't talk about to a person that they're connected emotionally to. They'd rather talk to a stranger or a therapist so they can bond with the person that they're with. And maybe they need an outside source to pour their heart into because um, a good example is AA, NA. You know, I can imagine your people don't want to sit there and talk about your motherfucking drunk ass st or drug stories with you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You go talk to them about that shit. But I think for a person that goes to NA or AA and works the program the way it's meant to be worked, I think they can go to that outside source and be better with the people that they live with and them not being a part of the actual treatment process but they could be a part of the healing process and I'm not necessarily talking about marriage because this is what you do that leads up to marriage you have to figure these things out before you even get into a marriage so I feel like they are just as important beforehand so I get both sides of that um, and I'm bringing this up because I like to hear y'all responses on, on this question because I think 
There may even be a Team C and Team D that I haven't even thought of that have a different perception. So let me know if you're part of Team A and you would like to have that emotional bond with the person you with, or are you part of Team B, the people that feel like they may need to have uh, their problems and things that they're going through treated externally from outside the relationship, and then that makes them a better person in the relationship. Let me know what you think. Peace.